Try to get a Travis Scott meal. And they have it. They just ain't have it. Now, if you know me, you know I was not ready to get that burger. What well, Miles was gonna get? I was waiting all day. And for he that was burger. gonna review it for y'all, but unfortunately, unfortunately, he said they ran out. So we went to the first McDonald's. It was probably like at least like twenty people. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say like ten. This McDonald's is a part of the gas station. Yeah, so the parking lot was jumping. To the point where I couldn't even get in without me being in the street. So, we went to another McDonald's. And I was like, girl, we're gonna get that Travis Scott meal. And she's like, um, we don't have it. All right, I'm, I'm trying this. Oh, he also this spicy he is trying this spicy buffalo. I never had it before. So, they got three new things they got a Travis Scott meal, they got I don't think it's new. It, is, it wasn't a new list. Oh, well, I got they had Travis Scott meal, they got the spicy buffalo sauce, and they got a new Chips Ahoy McFlurry. So, if you've been to McDonald's for the most part, you know, try it. Just better hope and pray that they didn't run out. I don't know how it ran out, though. I feel like it's just a quarter pound of bacon on it, so maybe it's ran out of bacon. So, Miles' theory was that saucy. Mm -hmm. So Miles, that look like, it could look kind of, it look like buffalo sauce, but it look like they put orange. Um, coloring? Yeah. Food right, coloring see. or something. Okay, what's your review? Let me see. For the people. What does it look like right here? Okay. Just giving commercial. Oh. Okay. It tastes like buffalo sauce. Yeah, it tastes like hot sauce. Right. Like Texas Pete? Yeah, it tastes like Texas Pete hot sauce. That's exactly what it tastes like. That's it. Yeah. But it's thicker. Yeah. It's good though. So Miles got a 20 piece. I got my regular meal, y'all. I get a plain cheeseburger. I know y'all gonna talk bad about me, but um, actually I've eaten I've eaten beef twice today. I'm gonna be going to that, but yeah, this is the only burgers I eat. A few minutes later. Let me see. Y'all, the only sweet sour sauce I ever had was some Chinese spice. Why I smell like that? I smell like pepper. Try it. I'm not really feeling the smell. Okay, just I'm gonna come out now. All right, what's our topic? I was gonna talk about cheating. I mean, I mean we can't. Cause he a cheater. I'm not a cheater. I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. Just eat it. Down below, what's the best sauce at McDonald's? In your opinion? Let me just do it again. I don't know. I mean, you really can't go wrong with a barbecue or a ranch. Um, I don't like it, y'all. Sweet and sour. It's cool. It tastes like liquid pepper. Vinegar, that's what it is, that vinegar. Put that vinegar in, I don't like that. Mm -mm. Buffalo sauce, it's good. It's bad. All right, let's talk about cheese. Okay. So. What is cheese? Like, I really don't get the point of cheese, to be honest. Why do you think people cheat? Um.
maybe <clears throat> maybe they just want something different mm. but they don't want to leave who they already have mm. are you not happy where they at then hmm so you want something new so bad and you think what you got is quote unquote boring then why not just let them go Would you ever take? No. Would like some fine girl, like some fine, fine girl. You get that too. Like she hopping my DMs? No, like y'all in person. Are you in person? Yeah. If she's out talking to me. Mm hmm. Nah, bro. So what you gonna tell her? I'm gonna just tell her. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I got a girl. Mm. What if your girl find out and still blame you? Then I'm probably I'm probably gonna let her go to be honest. Had the girl go? Cause she don't believe you. No, not 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 necessarily because you. Well, yeah. Like if I if I've never shown these signs of me like cheating or nothing like that, and I tell you. And I tell you that I'm not cheating, and you don't believe me, then that just already shown me that you don't trust me. So, mm. so you think trust is a big thing, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> why is it? Well, I don't want to say why is it. I just think it's sad that like. It's always a stigma that girls, like, girls when they cheat, it's like personal. But when guys cheat, it's just, they just want some tail. Mm -hmm. That's not true? Yeah. I can see, I still have people because yeah. Man, how do you gonna park right there? All up in the window. Dang. They see me with the McDonald's. All up in the business. You don't think that you think it's true or you think it's not true? I think it's true. Wait, do I think it's true? Mm -hmm. Actual happens? Mm-hmm. I think I think girls can like the same. Like they just wanted something like it's on. Mm. Only reason why I think it's true is because I feel like women, and that's not all women. Most women think strategically. So if they thought about cheating, they have been thinking about cheating. And they done made up this elaborate plan how they gonna do it. Guys, y'all feel hints here and there, but y'all don't plan it. Y'all just go do it. Mm. No, that's why a lot of people assume it's like this deep connection with whoever she's cheating with because she probably have been talking to him for a minute. Could be a friend. Could have started out as friends. Could have, um, you know, just hung out with the person before they actually did some stuff, you know? It's only Saturday. I know. Don't it feel, feel like, like Monday? I feel like Sunday. It do. It do. But yeah, I think the whole situation is sad. Like, I feel like cheating was common. It's been common, like, since, you know, the world came about. It's literally in the Bible. But, I don't know. Like, right now, it just seems like it's just so normal. Yeah, it is normal. To just cheat. <clears throat> to cheat or to just not be serious with somebody. Like marriage is becoming cliche. Even though I want to get married. I don't know what y'all do. I don't know what y'all talking about. Even though I see people get married too though. Mm. Let's talk about pregnancy. Yeah, that's all I was about to get on with 
I feel like everybody nowadays. Y'all had some fun during this quarantine. No cap. I mean, I don't have no problem with people getting pregnant because, you know, it's nice that you were able to bring a life into the world. But I just feel like it's normalized that nobody's showing their father, like their baby father. Like, I just feel like it's a family thing. Like, you didn't make that baby on your own. Like, I know, like, you know, of course, the girl has, like, her whole, uh, you know, mm -hmm. shoulder baby bump and the baby shower and the baby, um, the paternity shoot, maternity shoot, all of that. But, like, I want to see a couple pictures with the father in the maternity shoot. I want to see... Y'all post the results of the gender together, like together. Show the baby daddy. What if he just not there? I mean, but out of the nine months that she pregnant, he ain't showed up not once. Nope. But that's what I'm saying. That's the issue for me. For me, the father's not there. Yeah. Actually, I really want to see a ring before I see a baby bump. But that's just me. I'm sure some people would agree. But even if y'all not married, or if he decided to pop the question why you pregnant or whatever, I just feel like he should be present. I'm not saying you got to post him. See, that's the thing. You can't post your baby daddy on the gram, but you can post your baby bump on the gram? That's different. Now that's different. I mean, I've been seeing, you know, it's pop-out season. People are showing a man and a girl, but it's still, like, you can post that you're having a whole child. Like, you're going to birth something out of you, but you can't post the person you made it with. Even if y'all not together. Even if y'all not together. Y'all don't have to, if, 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 let's say you're not with your baby father no more, right? I still think there should be some type of family photo. What the? Y'all, the hood wrestling came out. Pregnancy? Mm-hmm. It's time getting out of hand. Like too many pregnancies? Yeah. Most of a lot of times they be young too. Mm. They be like eighteen, nineteen. Well personally I don't think age is an issue, but I do feel like well, I think you should graduate high school first. Please try to get out of high school before you have a baby, but I feel like if you're at least 18, it's fine, but most 18-year-olds don't have a place to stay on their own. They don't have a job that can support the baby on their own. Even if you put y'all, both the baby daddy and, the, and your salary together, it's still not enough to manage a baby. That's where the issue is for me. You're not established. You don't have your own space. You don't have people, don't have a car. How you gonna take your baby to daycare? Like, it's just, I just feel like y'all, that's the only reason why I say y'all not ready. Like, mentally, yes, it's gonna be challenging. You're gonna have to grow up real fast, but that, you have nine months to prepare for that. That's almost a year to, like, switch your perspective about being a mother or a father. But you don't have no money. It ain't all about money, but you need that. You need that. That's my issue. When you young, you not to the ten, you don't got it like that. If you got it like that, by all means, by all means. Let's talk about twenty twenty for real. Let's keep it a bean now. <laughs> Let's keep it a bean now.